there's nothing to complain about. People treat you nicer than you deserve to be treated. The work is interesting. You know, your job is to do justice. It's to be fair to people. It's to respect them. I'm John Gleason. I was a federal district judge, trial judge, a sentencing judge in the same courthouse, the Brooklyn Federal Courthouse. When I first came on the bench, I was familiar with the aphorism that sentencing is the hardest part of the job. And truth be told, I had been in the courtroom for so many sentencings as a prosecutor that I didn't really, I didn't get that. I thought, what's so hard about it? Just impose the sentence. Only to realize immediately, once I moved from the well of the courtroom up to the bench, that it's something completely different to, on the one hand, investigate and prosecute someone, and then to stand there while a judge imposes sentence. And then on the other, to be the judge that inflicts that kind of harm on the defendant and also inflicts the collateral harm, but you can't overstate how significant it is, to completely innocent people, some of whom are right there in your line of sight. You know, you're looking at the defendant, and right over his or her shoulder are the loved ones and the family members, and you can feel the community there. You know, you, you uh, do a lot of damage to someone when you impose a sentence. We seem to be, in the last 25 years, intoxicated on the idea that increasing numbers of years in prison is the only way to deal with people who are enmeshed in the criminal justice system. Prisons are overcrowded full of low-level drug trafficking defendants or people who are themselves addicts and whose participation in criminal activity is the result of their addictions. My mentor said to me when I first took the bench, the most important thing is to have the milk of human kindness and to have that affect everything you do. He's the one who told me, visit a prison every year. Don't just sentence people and forget about them. Go visit a prison and see where people go after you impose that sentence.